That is a crazy price. So that's very, very high for a super rare. But actually, the market price is showing a lot higher, actually. I can I see this appreciating over time, but right now the price is just insane in the membrane. What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing. Join me of course is my baby boy Hunter. Yeah, yeah that's the mic. That's the mic. We speak loud and proud into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, today is another epic unboxing. We finally got our hands on the pre-release of Maze of Millennia. Yes, this is going to be the second of the Maze of series, I guess. Whatever that really means. But uh, yeah, obviously we got to do a versus of this, so I'll talk about that more towards the end of the video. But yes, let's go talk a little bit about Maze of Memories and why this is a crazy, crazy set. First and foremost, obviously there's no listed prices per se right now, so I'm just going to go in with some of the estimated prices. So obviously prices will change every single day, uh, especially since the release of this. So do not take these that these will be the definitive prices for the rest of time. It will always depreciate, especially from the initial release. But we do have a collector's rare known as the Bonfire Collector's Rare at a whopping $211.14. And we have the second highest being the Transaction Rollback uh, Collector's Rare as well at $123.59. And the third highest is an ultra rare, believe it or not, of that bonfire, $80 as of this recording session. Some even market price more like a $91. So pretty, pretty insane for an ultra rare especially. But uh, it's even higher than the other collector's rare, um, the uh, Infection Buzz King at uh, $69.20. But yes, those are the current prices as of now. So pretty, some, pretty amazing cards in this set. And uh, yeah, uh, wish us luck. And you guys, know the drill. Press a like for luck. All right, let's do this. You wanna walk, walk around, Hunter? You wanna walk around? Walk around. All right, here we go. So yeah, let's do this. Where's my scissors? Scissors. Now, obviously, for those that have been following the news on the Yu-Gi-Oh side of things, the prices for these cards have been astronomical, insane for some people. But it's, again, the pre-release, so a lot of these prices will not be the definitive prices uh, going forth. They will always appreciate, but people are going crazy about this bonfire, which is essentially uh, a search card, a fine card or whatever, you know, one of those uh, things, but it's pretty intense because you can actually find the entire element of fire. So basically a level four or lower monster fire type, you can grab it with that bonfire, which is pretty insane. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of videos about that. I'll probably link some that I, I've, I've liked, but check out this box. Obviously, I always enjoy like artwork like this, where it talks about the millennium puzzle pieces, stuff like that. But it's an 85 card setup here. There's 11 ultra rares, that's 16 super rares, 57 rares, one quarter century secret rare, 16 of course will also be available in collector's rare. And obviously each booster pack will have seven cards, one foil, and those six rare cards. So it's essentially a collector's rare set, similar to the previous maze of, uh, maze of memories. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really a big fan of Collector's Rare, but this seems like a pretty hyped set. And we're gonna be opening essentially everything in this opening. I normally try to keep like a left side or right side type deal, but it's a pretty hyped set. And I kind of want to see and test my luck and see if we get potentially a bonfire because that will make my money back just with that one pack opening. Let's sedu this, guys. Only one pack design as per usual, but it's always pretty, always pretty. All right, here we go. I think it's uh, two to the front. All right, we have the Burfomet. Burfomet. I see a classic car here. This is Gazelle, the king of the mystical beasts. I remember that. Can't remember that car back in the day. Very, very cool. We have the D Synchro. Yes, Hunter, yes. And we have the Earthbound Prisoner Ground Keeper. Hunter, don't leave your brother alone, please. I, I know your brother sometimes. He just wants to be left alone. Uh, Extinguish is the next card. 
Obviously, if you guys uh, want to, you can always pause to read it. The Synchro Chase. And the first card is the Earthbound Prison. Everything I think of Earthbound Prison, I think of like the Earthbound the video game. Um, obviously, that was an amazing video game. Never get a chance to do a, a Let's Play on that one, but centering is pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm loving the centering. But Earthbound Prison, probably not worth too much, but on the pre-sale, even before release date, it's probably maybe decent. Bless you, Hunter. Bless. Surbound Prison, super rare, $1.91. So that's very, very high for a super rare. So not what, not what I expected, but again, it just came, well, I guess technically it'll come out tomorrow from this recording session. But when this video actually does come out, it's uh, it's been out for at least a week by now. Uh, but yeah, next pack. We got that Earthbound. All right, I'm gonna try four to the front. One, two, three. Three, four. Oh, wait, we have the alert. Stay alert. Two. The code hack. Two. Two. And also, too, because this is actually going to be uh, my first set, new set of 2024, is actually the, the first year of my brand new colored set. If you guys see my binders below me, oh, below me, but behind me, uh, they're all red. But this year, 2024, up until about 2028, uh, the color of my binders will now be white. So every four years, I, I try to get a new color binder so it's not all the same color. So it kind of shows like a uh, evolution of the color binders. And the super rare here is the Phoenix Gear Blade. Leave your brother alone, Hunter, please. All right, leave your brother alone. Phoenix, Phoenix Gear Blade, not the highest, only 76 cents. We get the er er bound. All right, next pack. Now, the one thing I will say about the Versus episode uh, coming up, um, it might be in a slight disadvantage because obviously these, these packs just came out, so. I don't know, should I wait out a little bit or is it worth doing a versus? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, we have uh, Chimera, the flag, mystical beast. Very nostalgic there. The uh, Altergeist, uh, Milusik. Milusik. And uh, apparently I did the card trick wrong, but it's, it's fine. The 100 Eye Dragon is next. The Altergeist Prime, Prime ban Banshee. The Altergeist Marantanera? Not, not, not Netter? Netter? <laughs> Something like that. The Ring Announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. And then we do get our first Ultra Rare. Not the Ultra we're looking for though. It's the Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Looks very pretty. All right, harmonic ball. Ball, ball. Harmonic synchro fusion, right? Yep, that's the one. Very, very sleeve worthy. Thirteen dollars and eighty cents. Oh damn! Wow, that is a crazy price. That's one reason why I kind of want to hold off the verses because it's a little bit unfair for uh, this one to uh, go against the uh, Maze of mo uh, Memories because of it just came out. But uh, I still want to do it only because it's the Maze of series. But um, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what's uh, coming down in, 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 in the pipeline in a schedule. I'm just gonna stick with two to the front. Uh, we have the uh, Salamandra Fusion. We have the Earthbound Immortal. Asila Pisku? Something like that? Yeah. The Emergency! The Earthbound Lion Walker! The Supreme King! Uh, Gate Infinity! The Ma Maj... Maj... Majestic? Crow Yata? <laughs> Something like that. 
And we do get a super rare here. The Kato Pertira, something like that. Yeah, super rare only though. 78 cents, so not super high worthy. All right, next pack. But I think there's, sometimes it's like, it's weird because they put the super rares and then they mix it up with the ultra rares. We have the Mad Jess, Jess <laughs> how do you pronounce this? Mad Jess Peter Told Ogama? I don't know, they got, they got some weird words sometimes with, with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Aldegeist Hextia. The Horn Source. The Altegeist Circuitus, I think. <laughs> the Millennium uh, Re uh, Revelation. The Fighting Flame Dragon. Very, very cool. And we get a very nostalgic card. Uh, the Ultimate Flame Swordsman. Very, pretty much ultimate. Super rare only though. Hunter, are you picking up by mess? <laughs> wow. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I was looking at the collector's rare. <laughs> Disregard, but the super rare variant is 88 cents. However, comma, if you did pull the collector's rare of that, it's uh, $32.48, so yeah. Hunter, what are you doing? All right, uh, I, I guess I'll do four. Why not? Why not, why not? All right, we have the Triangle O. Kybera Stone. The Ulta guys, a multi-faker. So it's quite a faker, quite a faker. Supreme King, Gate Zero. We have Contain. We have the Ulta guys, uh, prodigy or pr protocol and a super rare of the Ash Ashka Ashka pillar or something like that that is 56 cents not even worth a sleeve but as a collector you kind of have to sleeve it all we have a few more packs on the right side before we shift to the left side all right we have the fighting flame and dragon we saw that earlier of course we should be seeing dupes pretty soon. The Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. Very hard to read that font across a white background. The Salamadra Fusion. The Ultigeist Multifaker. Again, we saw that one. The Ultigeist uh, Myrana Fet Fetter. The Contain makes a return. And a super rare of the Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. Stone Sweeper. All right, this is actually pretty decent for super rare. It is a one dollar and ninety cents. So very much sleeve worthy for a super rare. Very very much surprising. The Supreme King Dragon Rebellion is the first card in this pack. The Millennium Revelation. I think Bella needs to pee. Khmer the Flag Mystical Beast. The Rescue. The Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper. Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken. And our next super rare, the Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon. Very much cool. All right, so this one is 96 cents. Not quite sleeve worthy in the technical term. All right, let's do this. All right, we have the Selamadra, Selamadra with chains. Yeah, and for some reason, the uh, Ultra Rare is on the second slot. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm gonna put that to the back. We have the Earthbound Geo Griff, Griff, Jif. Yeah, Glyph, yeah. Supreme King Dragon Odd Eye. Pendulum some. I haven't seen those in a while. The Combat Wheel. The Ultigeis Protocol. The Supreme Rage. 
and of course that ultra rare not the ultra we're looking for but still an ultra rare of the ancient chant wow very much very much sleeve worthy again prices are probably going to change and appreciate over time but damn it eleven dollars guys eleven dollars actually the market price is showing a lot higher actually at seventeen dollars and forty six cents so take it as you will but I can, I can see this appreciating over time, but right now the price is just insane in the membrane. All right, we have the Triangle Zero. Extinguish. The Majespector Toad, o Ogama. I'm finally pronouncing it semi-correctly. We have Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. Again, very hard to read that, that name. The Totem Pole. Supreme King Dragon Dark Mole. And another Flame Swordsman, but this one is the Flame Swords... Ram? Room? Swords Room? Ram? <laughs> the Realm. The Flame Realm. Right? Sword... Sword Realm. Swords Room. <laughs> Something like that. So, market price, still pretty high at $1.68. So that's pretty high for a super rare. All right, final two packs on the right side. We still have yet to pull the bonfire. Majespector Cyclone. Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. Earthbound Greater Line Walker. The Altegeist Hextia. The Flame Swords Dance. The Jet Spect uh, uh, Synch Synchron. And the Super Rare of the Armored XC. Armored XC. All right, <laughs> market price is insane right now. But I'm going with this one is more realistic to me, I think, at 96 cents. Yeah. Yeah, the market price is saying $2.22, but I don't really believe it. You gotta take these prices with a grain of salt, guys. You really do. You really do. I'm curious to see what the price will like would be like in a week's time. That's why I'm curious about the Versus series. But at the same time, it might be a distinct advantage against the, the other maze of memories. We got the Reinforce! Reinforce Hunter! The Sun God Unification. The Earthbound release. Looks like a pretty good card. Almost like a Call of the Haunted style. Or Call from the Grave or whatever. Uh, Earthbound Immortal something. <laughs> something. The Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken. I remember this card back in the day. The Double Warrior. And then the Super Rare. Looks kind of cool actually is the uh, Majespector Raccoon. Boom Boom Coo. <laughs> boom Boom. Boom Boom. Boom Boom. <laughs> Hunter. You like the Boom Boom? We got that Boom Boom Pow. Always check my style. Market price is insane, but I'm going with this one. It's more realistic to me at 19 cents. But they're saying it's $1.68. Really? Market price? I mean, maybe. Maybe. But I don't believe it. All right, that was all the left side. Now we're switching over to the right side. If you guys haven't already done so, definitely press the like for luck. We haven't pulled anything super epic right now. We did pull those two ultra rares, but we obviously do want to get that collector's rare of the bonfire. The Yolta guys, a multi faker. The Full Armored Black Ray Lancer. I think it's the first time we saw that one. We have the Contain. Gotta contain the beast. In this case, that is uh, Bella. The Ulta guys, uh, Silquistius. Hunter, no, leave the mouse alone. Nope, uh, leave it alone. Yeah. yeah, boom. We have the Full Armored uh, Crystal Zero Lancer. The Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. 
And then that super rare, which we, we saw this one earlier, so I'm not gonna price it out, but uh, editors will probably do that, of course. All right, let's uh, do this. Come on, bonfire. Give me the bonfire. The Ulta guys, Hextia. Mad Jester told Ogama again. The Ulta guys, uh, Port Portugal. Um, Protocol? Protocol? Pro 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 I don't know. Uh, emergency. I swear I can read sometimes, guys. I swear. Uh, we have the Yata. I think we actually posted something recently. Because I didn't see the super rare yet. The Triangle Zero. And yes, we do pull a ultra rare. The number one Infection Buzz King. I know that was a, actually a pretty high value for a collector's rare. But is it decently as an ultra rare? It actually might be. Wow, so the ultra rare, not as, as crazy as the collector's rare, but still damn decent at $17.16. Wow. Got some crazy cards here. Crazy cards for the ultra rare collection. But still no bonfire though. We we want the fire in our lives. All right, next pack. All right, we have the Earthbound release. The Chimera, the Flying Mystical Beast. The Ulta Guys uh, Prime Banshee. The D Synchro. We do see a uh, super rare here, but we, we saw this card earlier as well. So I'm not really too excited for it. The uh, Majestic Cyclone first though. The Extinguish. And of course that's super rare. Again, we saw this earlier. I think it was only like 98 cents, something like that. I don't know. Editors, help me out, please. Please, I beg of you. All right. Next pack, we still got a decent amount still left to go. What is the hype with this set? Probably not much, especially once the packs are finally released out to the general public. But yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm very curious to see what the prices are gonna be like next week. But if you guys are down to see the verses, let me know. We have the Supreme King Dragon Odd Eye. The Earthbound Servant Geo. The Double Warrior. The Combat Wheel. And we do get a super rare in this slot, but I'll put that to the back. The Millennium Revolution, or Re Revelation. The Supreme King Gate Infinity. Infinity and Beyond. And the super rare, we haven't, we haven't seen this one. Uh, so it is the Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. Very, very cool. Earthbound. Kind of decent, actually. $1.91 for this one. Market price is apparently $2.72. All right, here we go. I'm actually very, ex <laughs> this is kind of going to sound very corny, but I'm actually very excited to actually open up my new binders. Uh, my fresh new binders. Nice, pristine, like, like almost crystal white. So I'm very, very excited about that. If you guys are interested of like what binders I buy, I have a link in the description. Um, I use the Ultra Pros, of course. They're they're like the best, I think. Uh, the Supreme King Gate Zero. And obviously it's a fit in the link. You guys know that. Helps support the show. The Earthbound Geo Glyph. Glyph. The Flame Swords Dance. Also the smell new fresh new cards. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. We got a totem pole. Uh, the Flame Swords Realm, we saw that one already. We're not going to price it out. I'm just going to show it right now here. We have the 100 Eye Dragon. And then the final card is the Salamadra Sel uh, with Chains. It's like cool eyes with chains, but not as cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't read the effect on it, but I assume it's less cool than the cool eyes with chains. Yeah, I'm just doing two to the front, even though... Uh, 
the, the super rares are kind of like stuck in the middle. But I'd rather do that because of the uh, potential ultra rares and collector's rare. The Earthbound Greater Line Walker. The Rescue. The Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker. The Supreme King Dragon Darkwold. I think we saw this one already as well. Another dupe for the super rares is a Salamadra, the Flying Flame Dragon. I'm not gonna price that one out, but editors will, will of course hook me up. The Synchro Ch uh, Chase. And the uh, Maid Maid Jester Cyclone. All right, got like about five packs left, I think. I'm not sure if I did the card trick, but we're just gonna go with it. We have the Mirage Swordsman. The Horn Source. We saw this one already as well, the Ultimate Flame Swordsman. I think that was actually decently priced currently for a super rare. Supreme Rage. The Kybera Stone. The Earthbound Immortal of words I can't pronounce. And of course, the Ogama. Until you're gonna break that, you know that, right? Hi. There you are. You're gonna break it and then you're gonna cry and you're gonna tell me you cry and then I cry and then the audience cries. We all cry because you cry. I swear I can open packs, guys. I swear. I mean, it's kind of like my job. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be at least one or two more Ultra Rares. It's gotta be. Um, we have the Celebrator Fusion. The Earthbound Release. This card of the other word I can't pronounce. The Protocol. For some reason I pronounced it totally weird last time. The Sikron. I think I pulled something cool here, potentially. Potentially. 100 Eye Dragon. And we do pull a ultra rare here, the Fighting Flame Swordsman. Oh damn, that looks sick. That looks very sick. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a guess here, $15. That's my guess. I got, you gotta love Swordsman. All right, the ultra rare. Almost got, almost got it. But it's $14.30. That is cool. That's one reason why I love opening sets um, on pre-release because the prices just are amazing. But again, I'm curious to see what the price is like in a week's time. All right. Uh, definitely a lot of support I noticed um, for the, the Flame Swordsman, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Because I, I do like that, uh, that design. We got the Full Armored Black Ray Lancer. The uh, Ulta guys, Moly Seek, Milu Seek. The D Synchro. The Double Warrior. I think we saw this before as well, the Armored XC. I'm not gonna price it out here, but editors got me, of course. We got the Yada. And then we have the Reinforce. Ho, 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 what? It's not Christmas, Hunter. Oh. No, it's not Christmas. Christmas is over. The stack is getting too big over there. I'm afraid, afraid it might fall. All right, we, we're down to our last three. Unless he's, uh, unless he's singing the Beyonce song, <laughs> single ladies. Oh, 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 oh. Time to leave that alone. We have the multi faker. The code hack. The pole, uh, uh, totem pole, the jet synchron, and we also pulled this one earlier as well. I'm pretty confident. The phoenix gear blade, price of course, bottom right. The lancer of crystal zero, the supreme king uh, gate infinity, and beyond. All right, so nothing really super new or fantastic there. All right, here we go. Come on, bonfire. Is, is it really that hard to get bonfire? Is it really that hard? 
You would think an ultra rare is not that hard. I understand the collector's rare is going to be kind of hard, but a uh, ultra rare of it? I mean, there's quite a few ultra rares you could potentially get, but still. We have the uh, alert. Alert! We have the G Giselle, the king of the mystical beasts. Well, I think one of the only normal monsters in this in his set. The Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker. You got the Emergency. I thought I saw that one already. Did, it, did I pull? No, I, I pulled the alert. Okay. About to say. And we pulled another one of this? God damn. So this is a third of this card. So again, probably not. That's probably why it's not priced that high. Because it's so freaking common. And then, of course, we got that. And the ring announcer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to remove. That might be copyright, so hopefully I don't have to pay a lawsuit for that one. <laughs> Regardless, guys, final pack magic. Can we do it? Can we get the bonfire? Can we get any collector's rare? Anything from this set? But there's always that versus round, so don't forget versus. All right, two to the front. Let's do this. We got the other guys. Hexia. We have the um, Burfomet. The Earthbound Line Walker. The Combat Wheel. Um, dang it. <laughs> but we haven't seen before, but uh, actually, I think we have seen before. The Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. So only a super rare for the final car. And then we got the stone. And then we got the Sun God Unification for the final card. So yes, we did not pull any bonfires. Wow, is it really that hard? Is it really that hard to get bonfire? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. If you guys are into this and want to see more of this set, this of course is the Maze of Memories. This, this re was released last year. And of course, this year's Maze of Millennia. So obviously an epic maze versus maze versus. If you guys are hype and excited for this, let me know in the comments down below. And, and, and of course, if you guys want to see any previous verses, check out this verse right here that I did of the 151 versus the, of course, the epic, of we, we call the Rarity Collection. But I had a pretty good idea that was submitted in the comments down below of doing an even more fair challenge of the uh, Rarity Collection 25th anniversary as well as the celebration set for the 25th anniversary. So basically 25th anniversary versus 25th anniversary. I'm gonna try to get, grab my hands on some celebrations. I definitely appreciate any comments down below of any versus potential series as well as any uh, cards. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Hunter. <laughs> He's picking up the cards for me. Um, as well as any other packs you guys wanna see open in this series, versus series, whatever the case is. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the view. But yeah, guys. That's all I got. My name is Talos. This is my baby boy, baby boy, Hunter. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. Can you, see, can you say peace? Peace, Hunter? He's, he's fascinated with the mic. Yeah, you like the mic? He likes being on camera. He, like, he, likes, he likes the mic. Yeah, he's going to be a content creator, believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, later, guys. Peace.